I'm Ben Franks. And I'm Holly Carter. And this is Ready Nation. Welcome to Ready Nation, a show where you can catch all the latest news on your Henderson Readies. The Lady Ready basketball team had their hands full Monday night when the University of Arkansas Monticello Cotton Blossoms came to town. The ladies don't typically play on Monday nights, but thanks to the wintry weather, Thursday's games were rescheduled. The Lady Readies managed to squeak out the victory 73-67 for their second straight win. While the first half consisted of 31 combined turnovers, the ladies pulled together in the second half and put on quite a show. Four Lady Readies were in double figures, including leading scorer Naisha Adams with 17. The ladies are now 13-9 overall and 4-6 and in the Gulf South Conference. The ladies travel across the ravine to face the Ouachita Baptist Lady Tigers in their next game on February 24th. Tip-off is set for 6 p.m. Also in action Monday was the Ready basketball team. A solid inside game and a season high 50% from behind the arc proved to be too much for the University of Arkansas Monticello Bull Weevils. Josh French led the scoring with the Reddies with 21 points and 15 rebounds while Jonathan Sims added 16 and 4 rebounds. The Reddies were ahead the entire game and led by as many as 16 points in the second half. They ended the night shooting 44% from the field with UAM shooting a close 37. The win over the Bull Weevils ended a five-game losing streak for the Reddies and puts them at 2-8 in the Gulf South Conference. The men also faced Washita Tigers on February 24th with a tip-off set for 8 p.m. When we come back, we've got the results of the Red Wave and Lady Red Wave Conference swim meet. And believe me, you don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. Uh, yo, what up? This is Polly Shore and you're watching HDTV. HTTV. KS what? Yo, what up? This is Polly Shore and you're watching HTV. Check it out. Is that good enough? Welcome back to Ready Nation. It was a successful weekend for both Henderson swim teams. The Red Wave and Lady Red Wave traveled to Cleveland, Mississippi to compete in the New South Intercollegiate Swim Championships, and both teams finished the meet with second place finishes. Despite winning a meet high 16 events, the Red Wave finished the meet 90 points shy of first place Missouri S&T. The Lady Red Wave needed just 95 more points to claim the title from champion Truman State. Two Ready Swimmers set conference records at the championships. Nicole Horn set a record in 100 freestyle and Grant Bahan in the 200 butterfly. Zach and Tarante led the men by winning two of his three individual events. Red Wave head coach Coke Matthews was named the championship's women's coach of the year. The Red Wave swim team season is over for most athletes, but the team will be represented by 20 Red Wave swimmers at the Division II National Championships in March in San Antonio, Texas. While swim season is coming to a close, many other ready sports are just beginning. The Lady Ready tennis team opened up their season over the weekend hosting number nine Drury. It was a tough match for the young Henderson team. The ladies lost in straight sets to a very experienced Drury team. The ladies managed only to win six games in their singles matches. The doubles matches weren't much better as the ladies fell in all three. The duo of Lacey Hawkins and Sarah Comras managed to win four games, but the Drury team overpowered them with eight games. The Lady Readies play host to Harding University on February 22nd Matches are set to begin at 1 p.m. Right after the break, Holly's got the latest on two other ready teams who are just opening season play.
The Ready Baseball team is ready to turn some heads again this year with their first game right around the corner. But they'll have to do it with lots of changes, including new head coach Cody Hooten, and without playing a home game, at least for now. Last season, the Reddies advanced to the Gulf South Conference Tournament for the first time and are hoping to do the same this year. The last year Henderson will compete in the GSC. Depth is the key, according to Hooten, and he claims the Reddies have plenty of it. The team went 31-18 and 18 last season and is looking to improve and advance further in the conference tournament. The men are led by several seniors, including Ryan Ellis, Grant Dennis, and catcher Kendall Norman. The Reddies begin play on Friday, February 18th against Southeastern Oklahoma University. While the game is supposed to be played at Clyde Berry Field, new renovations are not yet complete, so for now the home games will be held in Hot Springs. Also hoping to make some noise are the ladies of D. White Field. The Diamond Ready softball team opened their season up this past weekend when they hosted a doubleheader with East Central Oklahoma. And boy was it a rough doubleheader. The ladies lost both games on Sunday, 9-1 and 4-1. The Diamond Ready scrounged up only four hits all day, including two solo home runs by Ashley Ray and Sarah Lankford. East Central Oklahoma scored four unearned runs with eight hits in Game 1. In Game 2, the Lady Tigers smacked two solo shots in the second inning to gather the momentum for the eventual victory. The Diamond Reddies play again on February 25th at Southern Baptist University. The first pitch is scheduled for 12.30 p.m. Right after the break, we've got your Razorback news, and we'll share our thoughts on the hottest team in the NBA. Don't touch that remote. The Arkansas Razorbacks showed no mercy in their 80-61 blowout victory over guests LSU at Bud Walton Arena last Saturday. The Tigers topped the Hogs earlier in the season in Baton Rouge, but this game was a different story. It took the Hogs nearly a minute and a half to find their first bucket, courtesy of a three-pointer by junior Rodney Clark. Clark was on fire the entire first half, shooting three of four from beyond the arc. Clark led the team in scoring with 25 points, including five three-pointers. Coach John Pelfrey said the defense was a primary factor in the win, and the Hogs held LSU to just 43% shooting from the field. The Hogs now sit in third place in the SEC West and take on Florida A&M February 23rd in Fayetteville. Tip-off is set for 7 p.m. And now, on to the moment we've all been waiting for. Who is the hottest team in the NBA right now? Is it the Heat or maybe the Lakers? Neither. How about the San Antonio Spurs? The Spurs are the NBA's hottest team, at least for the moment. Next week, it may be the Lakers or the Heat, but for now, the Spurs are the shining stars. With a 46-9 record, they seem to be leaving the rest of the league in the dust. The Heat are a good six games and a half behind, while the Lakers trail by seven and a half. Should we expect another 2003, 2005, or 2007? Will the Spurs remain the top team and be crowned the NBA champions yet again? Your guess is as good as mine, but they'd be my pick. They're ranked in the top ten in the league in points, rebounds, and assists per game. With only five losses since the turn of the year, the Spurs take on the Oklahoma City Thunder on February 23rd in attempts to record win number 47 for the season. Can they do it? We'll have to wait and see. That's all for today. Be sure to turn in next week for the latest news on your Henderson Reddies. You can also send us your thoughts about topics we cover or topics you would like to see us cover via Facebook. Check out our page under Henderson HTV. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Holly Carter. And I'm Ben Franks, and that's The Score. See you next time.